Hey everybody, Joshua here with the Heavy Piano YouTube channel. This song, uh, Alicia Keys' Gramercy Park, was a patron request. One of the things I always like to do is uh, three videos. So I do the arrangement, uh, synthesia version for anybody that learns that way, and then I'll do a little tutorial talking about kind of my thoughts in addition to the uh, chords and melody on the piano. So let's get right into it. Uh, there's a couple of progressions uh, following the G chord. I'll keep it a little simpler. Simple triads here. G, G over B to C, and then we're just going to go back. Right? And our other progression goes G, G over B to C, and then it's a D minor 7. I voiced it this way. It's basically an F over D, back to C, to G. Let me play those two together so you can hear how they sound. You can see them with the notes. And of course, the feel is going to be really important here. You don't want to play it quite as square and as straight. <laughs> uh, one of the things I'm doing is a you know, rolling off of that uh, B flat to B natural. And then one of the things, you know, I repeated the, the that chord progression twice through, but afterwards I did a. like a walking the chords down, keeping the pedal tone of the G. Kind of walking down those chords to the G with the G stain in the bass. Um, the melody will go over those chords uh, and it's basically kind of a G major pentatonic scale. Um, Alicia does do, I think, a D flat. in there kind of like as a bluesy uh, lick, but it's, it's real brief, kind of a passing tone. Um, I would encourage you to check out, I'll link it below. There's another pianist that does really nice covers. Uh, I think they're, I think the channel is Relaxing Piano Covers or something like that. Um, but they did, um, I would say, a much more melody note accurate version of this, and I'll link it below. It's a little bit different take on the song, but it might also be a really good way to learn the melody aside from my video because <laughs> I kind of you know I play by ear I approximate I improvise as well so these videos are just for you to take it and take the parts you like and kind of learn from so uh, melody chorus. Give me the beat. I, I brought an octave up, I think, a few times. You can really dig in the left hand if you if you want. kind of descending chord thing over the G pedal again. One of the things I'm doing, like a double uh, thumb hit. I did it with my middle finger there, but. Ba -da -da -ba -da -dum. Adding some rhythm in there just to drive it a little more so it doesn't stay too stale. Um, one of the things I noticed between this, uh, you know, this keyboard, which is simulated, piano sound and then my upright obviously there's compromises in upright piano for the sound a lot of times what that means is that the bass isn't very 
clear or very distinct or very full. Um, so I noticed when I was kind of deciding on how I wanted to play it on my upright at home, um, sometimes I felt like the using like an F chord instead of um, uh, the D, D minor 7 uh, worked a little better. And I think one of the times in my video you kind of hear me go kind of like use it as a passing chord. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but um, I did find that because there's less definition in my upright, um, sometimes the F chord sounded a little bit better to my ear. Just something to think about. Those two chords are very similar. You know, basically it's an F over D, um, F and first inversion. So did the chord, excuse me, F major and D minor seven are very, very similar. No, you know, very similar in their chord makeup. So. Let's see, what else am I doing here? I, you know, I went an octave up. That's such a cliche. Such a cliche little line, but you can throw it in there if you want. Um, you know, kind of some of those kind of rolled octaves there. Not rolled octaves, but... Um, you know, I like doing those... You've probably heard me do that in a lot of, it's it's, it's a cliche as well, um, but I, you know, kind of like going off of those half note, kind of like little, little licks. Um, you know, going, going to the seventh, another cliche, <laughs> kind of a blues cliche here. But, uh, you know, just go with the feel of the piece too. Um, I think at the end, I kind of really drew it back. There, I did it there. Going from the F to D minor. But anyway, just kind of a little quick overview of that song. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll try to get back to you. My whole goal is to help everyone else enjoy playing the piano. You know, one of the best ways to connect with the piano is to learn a song that you really like, that really resonates with you. But um, I hope you find this video helpful. A big thank you to my patrons on Patreon and everyone that leaves kind comments and, uh, you know, thoughts on the videos as well. It's real nice. Especially in the time of <laughs> COVID when, you know, I don't, uh, I don't get to hear from a lot of people or see a lot of people, you know, and so this is a nice way to kind of feel connected to other pianists and other music listeners. <laughs> now we're getting to some, uh, some churches here. Anyway, enough of that. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Take care.